baby beard. <laughs> Waited for you, Frank. This episode traumatized me as a young person. <laughs> my head is hurting again. <laughs> Where's my firstborn son? <laughs> God does not care about me masturbating. Your singing is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> First get out into bustle, you're like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like myself becoming the protagonist of this well, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in the Yeah, because you haven't learned anything. Shut up and take my podcast. Yeah. I wanted to burp for like 10 seconds and I had to hold it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> hey, everyone. That was beautiful. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. Thanks. I got a soul voice. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we count down from 10 every time before we start an episode and that was a very strenuous 10 seconds for me. Because you had to all Where that is that burp? burp? It's, it's gone. It's gone. Now. Swallowed it. In it's the worst. The worst. It has feeling. dissipated into the environment. Listeners, listen, and you'll hear it later on in the episode. <laughs> you will. <laughs> or just insert. spot the bonus burp. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they can like feel it in their headphones. Ah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Now, Gross. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, while I'm adjusting my uh, little, um, what is this called? It's a that's a pop that's filter. Your penis. My pop filter and my penis. Mm. Uh, welcome everybody <laughs> to Focus on shut one. up <laughs> and take my podcast. A few trauma podcast that pits episode against episode in a bloody glorious gauntlet battle for your entertainment in 39 degree heat for the second week in a row. I'm joined here sweatily by Phil. Do what young people do. Eat a fish stick. <laughs> uh, joined here moistly by Chris I have not enough money And too many bones <laughs> I'm changing mine He needs uh, bone cash I need bone cash Stickily by Ellen Did we do this in descending order of grumpiness Or ascending mm. Mm. Think about that at home And <laughs> we're joined here by Sean Farnsworth suspenders are my jam. (laughs) The thing is, there are underwear suspenders, but that's usually for holding your stockings up. The fact that he needs his underwear held up is... It's just beautiful. It's a sight to behold. There's no elastic left in those Y fronts. No. It's the same Y fronts for the past 20 years. Oh, God. This whole time that he's had Amy as a grad student. He's had the same same undies. Well, you wear them normally, then you... Wear them inside out, yeah, and then, then back, back to, to front, front, and then back to front inside, inside out. <laughs> and then you got to get four ways of new coverage. Pairs. This is was that a Big Hero Six reference that yeah, we're going with? There we yeah, go. Yeah, cool. but this is also straight culture. <laughs> <laughs> I am on day three. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> straights do have culture, Sweeney. <laughs> uh, aren't both of us bi? I'm bi. Phil, you bi? Nope. Ah. Uh. I gave it a go, but no. Oh, okay. I question it a lot. I try by. Oh, I'm getting try a, bit of, a bit of residual try before you buy. from that book. <laughs> <laughs> try before you buy. That's I buy culture that. right there. <laughs> try before you buy. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> what are we here for? We are here for a little Futurama episode that was uh, put out as season six, episode eight, called That Darn Cats, which Ellen told us what it was last week. Oh, Tell it's us a again. film. There's that a darn... film called That Darn Cat, but also... Uh, isn't there uh, like a movie writing method? No, sorry. There's a movie writing thing called Save the Cat. It's a book about like uh, movie plots. But there is a film called S- That Darn Cat and There's it has two. Christina Ricci That's in it. That's the remake. There was a 1965 one, which was the original thriller Walt Disney film. And then it got remade as a wacky little film starring Christina Ricci. Nice. Cute. How what? much would it fuck up our audio if you put that fan on? A fair amount. <laughs> okay. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay. Just Phil. Just thought I'd ask. Uh, so we've got some things to do. What do we got to do? For What's this? next? We got to we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about the director of this episode. Director is Frank Marino back from the beginning of this season with the Rebirth. Oh. oh, nice. <laughs> oh. No, it that was disgusting. No, that was admiration. How very damp Ooh. of him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, that episode is good. It is out a very of the good womb. episode. Mr. Frank Marino also has a Daytime Emmy nomination oh. to his name. Uh, for Not Curi- for this episode. <laughs> no, for Curious George. I like this episode, Curious by the way. Curious George? Um, we'll get there, we'll get there. Like, we'll get what's there. his name? As a movie? Or? Uh, yeah, no, it used to be like a, a bunch of um, like animated films, and I think it might be a TV series as well, because 2007. I'm fairly sure what, they what did What does the award a... say? Does it say Daytime, Daytime Emmy? Daytime Emmy nominee for Outstanding Children's Animated Program, okay. Curious yeah, George. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a TV show. No, there is. It's, have you guys never seen? Curious George? I have. Oh, no, he's a curious monkey. He's a yeah, monkey he's with so a curious. tail. I've never been curious enough to watch <laughs> Most it. Most monkeys have tails. Some don't. Let's take them off. You Does sell it, it on the black market. <laughs> monkey tail. No! You can make three wishes. It's like monkey paws. That's a Chris, paw. no! <laughs> so, it's like a, no well, you only get the one wish if you get a, a tail. Paw. Yeah, the that's a paw. The monkey right. definitely died. 
<laughs> That's what I feel about lucky rabbit's feet. Like, it can't be that lucky because the rabbit's dead. No, nah, maybe it's I okay. Mean, the monkey it got a bionic like a leg. Prosthetic. Yeah. Like a hook hand or something. <laughs> that would be terrible. Robot legs. Make yeah. it jump faster. Oh, God. <laughs> On one side. Cyber so it, like, monkey. kind of goes in circles. They did it. They blew it all up. <laughs> Yeah, so off track. <laughs> someone who's because it's but thirty-nine it, degrees it, Celsius. Someone who's definitely a lucky boy is the writer Josh Weinstein. Josh Weinstein is no making relation. his. No relation, yeah. they, no, well, let's ask him. <laughs> uh, let's not. How do you feel about old Uncle Weinstein? <laughs> oh, of course. He's You're going to look stupid if he is of his uncle. He's oh my an god. Uncle. Well, also Uncle uh, Weinstein. Oh. What is it about uncles that they're either abusers or or Creep. racist? What? Or just no, generally my, my creepy uncle, dudes. One of my uncles is a really lovely man. He's just really quiet. What about the other one? I personally am an uncle, so oh, yeah. are you creepy? Are you yeah. A creepy are you dude? my creepy are you racist? racist? You decide. The audience you decide. decide. Yeah. <laughs> right in. Right in. <laughs> Tell me how much creepy of a creepy racist. racist. <laughs> Babybeardmedia we'll, at gmail We'll put a poll out on Twitter. It'll be creepy or racist <laughs> or both. <laughs> or both. Yeah. And we'll see what you. T- Vote for us. So, Josh Weinstein, even though it is his debut, he was the Simpsons showrunner for seasons seven and eight with Bill Oakley. He is responsible for Bart versus Australia. Oh, Great episode. Didgery, don't. Oh. That's, not a, that's not a knife. This is a podcast. <laughs> po bodies, so played knifey podcast before. <laughs> Can I get That's some what re- we should call our <laughs> Simpsons podcast. <laughs> Nike, <laughs> Nike <laughs> podcast. That's not a podcast. This is a podcast. Can, can <laughs> I get some People would think it's a fucking Crocodile Dundee podcast. Oh, shit, we can we get to that too. <laughs> <laughs> it was an emergency <laughs> from the... <laughs> can we do, can we we, do like can the switch worst... switch and bait them. <laughs> Can we do like the most Australian idea ever and just watch Crocodile De- Dundee every day? All, no, all three movies, just one after the other. Oh, God. Yeah. Every week, forever. I feel like you need a few things to like truly sum up the Australian experience. So you need Beer. Crocodile Dundee. You need like an old Steve Irwin episode. Uh, you need Knifey the Spooner. John heat, Howard heat, temper elections heat. where he you know, John Howard never turned elections. everyone against... Sorry? He never tampered an election. No, no, no. The Tampa. Oh, the Tampa elections. Elections yeah. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, he yeah, turned yeah. Uh, all of Australia against asylum seekers. That's right. All of our international listeners are entirely lost. By the way, guys. <laughs> sorry, if you are really political. Just, sorry. <laughs> just so you guys are aware, like there are actually five names in Australia. There's Chris, Phil, Ellen, Sean, and then there's Tobias. So Tobias? It is completely accurate. It was um, an emergency. Oh God, the, air date, field commissioner. the air date for this episode is August 5th, 2010. I don't know how far after my birthday that was. It's fine. Uh, 21 (laughs) days. No, that was last time. 28 days. 39 degrees. Uh, Phil, yes. in your in your puddle of um of of Phil. liquid, yes, and filth, can you please let us know what this episode is about? Concisely, give us uh, a filthy plot. <laughs> oh, uh, this episode is all about uh, a terrible conspiracy of uh, alien cats to steal the rotational force of the Earth and transfer it to their own planet. Uh, so it starts with Amy being a being Farnsworth grad student for apparently the last 12 years is like we've never known before until now. I thought we knew that from the first episode. Yeah. She you know is she's like a, a grad, grad student, but shows what I we know. just assumed that she'd done something. Done with something. Her life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she's doing a thesis on something to do with the magnetic core. She goes to present it, but in, uh, the night before, because she's really nervous, she goes out drinking. She ends up arriving late uh, doing a really bad presentation. In on her undies. In her underwear, um, about how to how to harness the Earth's rotation to make electricity. Uh, her doctor is rejected. Meanwhile, Nibbler decides that he's had enough of being a cutesy wootsy pet and wants respect. Wants to be a member of the crew. Um, after the uh, rejection of her doctor, uh, the cat of one of the professors on the panel, Professor Katz, in fact. Uh, comes sneaks aboard the ship. Everyone loves it, except for Amy and Nibbler. They hate it. Turns out the cats are actually mind controlling everybody to turn to make them do this aforementioned device, which steals all the rotation. They foil the plot by how do they get rid of the cats? They go faster. Oh, the cats just go home. The cats go home. The ha- and cats they just make go the home. Go they go, oh, we did it. They just go home. They the thought they won. Now, the planet goes can... backwards. Um, so they just speed up the planet in the way that they were already 
turning it. So now the earth, canonically in the future, I'm a spin the other way. That's yes. right. The end. As sure as the sun rises in the east. east. Yeah. Look, people want to know scene by scene what happened. <laughs> It's Stop so giving me the hurry up sign. It's so it's, hot. It's, 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 then it's do the hurry so up. <laughs> no, I will take as long as I decide. Guys, we're all feeling a bit grumpy. <sighs> Ladies. Like, a, of... like a grumpy cat. Like a grumpy oh, cat. That's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Did Is a cat it? do it? That's comedy gold. <laughs> that's how you do it. Put it straight to the internet. Put we'll, a cat on it. We'll what are some things that we think? Um, oh. I didn't like this episode. Did I feel you? like I'm going to be like on an island by myself here. I fucking love this I episode. Did not oh, like no, this episode. I liked it. There I were a bunch of gags mm. that just didn't fucking land. They were just embarrassing. The Empty space. And I was just like, what is that? Why is that? Stop. They did seem it's funny. It's, they did it's seem light. like a bit of the air was let out. <laughs> yeah. Um, But I, I liked the idea. I, I thought the it was really slow getting to the... Like, I get why we have the... um the doctorate thing because mm. that jumps us into the the project that she's been working on and introduces and, the cat. and why the cats want to steal it but i feel like we take a long time to get there and also the extended party scene is is it's just it's the just party not scene's related really at long. all it's very long they spend ages drinking at the hip bar uh kif <laughs> yaks all over the floor but is also he has vomited himself I'd like don't to ask. think more about. No, no, no. I want to think okay, more no. about it. <laughs> has he, he he would prefer you don't ask. Has, but has we're he, going has he to just anyway. Melted or yeah. does he like think... vomit his insides up and then his outside comes with him? Oh uh, no, I've got it. into a puddle. He's made of liquid uh, water sacks, right? Yeah. yeah. And alcohol would dehydrate you, so yeah. he's just become the sacks. He's like deliquefied. Oh. So it looks like a puddle. It's actually just like a bunch but of it's actually skinny loose cells. little cells. Okay. And, he, and he can't be bothered explaining that to Amy. So when she's like, "Have you well, vomited?" He's like, "Yeah." He's very yeah, hungover. I, yeah. That's what they call it. They call <laughs> it yakking. yakking. Yeah. yeah. When he you does, dehydrate, he does get very like loosey goosey with like. I quite like seeing him cut loose. Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it yeah. as much as it did make me disgusted in terms of like, ugh. Couples, but like <laughs> to see uh, him and Amy like really happy and I, just like you're a sixty year old spinster. I love the you. look that That's Fry and like Bender <laughs> were giving each other as well. Oh yeah, with Fry and Bender are like but- B- bumping butts, bumping butts. Okay. It was a nice little Clang. sensual look that they were giving mm, each other. Yeah. Isn't that the- a bit of Fry and Bender? Isn't that the whack? Okay, no so- one watches SpongeBob in this show, but like. Is- like, is it a SpongeBob? SpongeBob dance? goes to prom and she's like SpongeBob. They're all doing the whack, and it's just like. A bunch of fish like flopping together, like basically doing what Bender and Fry are just like launching their butts into each other. I like the idea that there's maybe like a night where Fry and Bender just had, had, had a bit of fun with each other. I think they, I think they were curious. I yeah. think they fucked. Yeah, yeah, like just they've lived for each other for so long, it's bound to happen. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Because Fry and Leela aren't dating anymore. Yes, question about yeah, yeah a one question. Of the central, I, I had the same question. The central conceits of this thing is that. Leela is she said, single. I'm a, she said, "I'm. A li- I may I'm, not have a man. Yeah, but I do have you. Yeah. It's like you have Fry. Well, we, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I didn't even know so. that. They part. went on a date in the last episode. A yeah. very nice day that went well. I just thought that they just so... weren't addressing it, but apparently it seems pretty. I well, think the she... writers need to have a chat I, with each other. <laughs> I was going to say the one thing I don't like about like this season. We we talked about our fears about you know. Oh, and it's always hard it, it, approaching a relationship when it's been kind of will they, won't they work for a while because and then, then how do you make they. it satisfying? Yeah. But how you make it not satisfying is just ignoring it completely. <laughs> it's not a good way. And also, it. like, it, it really flips f- and flops between, like, yes, they're in a relationship. No, they're not in a relationship. And it's like, you can do that definitely in it, the show. Yeah, you can have them be, like, on and off again, yeah. but you can't just have it. Like, Random you know. happen starts. Oh, they're not on again. Yeah, it's oh, very confusing. Yeah, it's super and, strange. And I don't like it. This, I don't maybe like they're being on a break. confused. Or maybe are they just like so bad for it, like so not meant to be together, they keep breaking up between it together and breaking up, get back together, and we just keep coming to them and seeing where I, they are on their yeah. own. Or maybe it's just that like maybe they they are dating but they're just they're not together. They got if that together makes yet. sense. Or maybe she just, serious feels, point. Yeah. she just feels alone sometimes and she's like, you know what? That's fine. I'm in a relationship, but sometimes I do feel alone. That's why you have a I've still got you, Nick. Does she say that she's, in, she's single? She says, I may not have a man, but I have a Yeah, that's her exact words. That's weird. It is weird. What, do you, think, what do you think of the episode overall, Chris? Uh, I don't... I think it's a really young episode. So, like, I think if you're younger, like 15, <laughs> you'll really dig it because it's got cats. 
and that's funny. And there's like some really like I think it's so funny. I'm so I'm so I'm <laughs> 27. Like I'm 27. So <laughs> what does that mean? I was about uh, to say you, ha- you have a younger heart. Sean You're and I are not You're the same age. I didn't I didn't think all the jokes worked. Certainly, but There's I thought... There's one that you looked back on me on, uh, which was a reference to, like... It was something I didn't get. And no. I was like, did anyone understand Oh, so that? there's, like... Uh, to illustrate my point, the fucking England joke. Yeah. Where just, it's just a shot of the UK, and some, you hear, like, an English man go, oh, what is it? Like, oh, jolly good, or something yeah. like oh, that. I was just saying, it's what? like, what is yeah, that? that joke but if you're 15, well. that would be funny. It's, it the does... in, it's the Independence Day problem. They do that in Independence Day, too, is they keep cutting to different countries. Yeah. And then it's just like... Oh well, I'm glad the Americans sorted everything out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Well, also, you can't expect me to know the topography of all the countries. Like I know Australia and Italy because it's the boot. Um, it does remind me of that end of the world, like first internet video comedy thing. Oh yeah, about that We're time, about France. Speaking all of the, internet all, all comedy, the world. yes. They have a stupid 90s... Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. I has joke. Cheeseburger. 90s? 90s. 2000s. <laughs> 2000s. Dial up. I got to do the dial up, up to get my cat memes. Yeah. God. <laughs> hey, dial up well into the 2000s. Oh, I found the joke that Time I didn't get. Yeah. It wasn't a joke. It was a reference to old. their uh, McDLT. Yeah, is that a McDonald's burger? Well, a BLT is a bacon, lettuce, yes. tomato. What's this a is D? my point. So where's, many of the gags do not work in this Where's episode. the D? Or maybe they work in America. Maybe, um, yeah. Or oh, what's the oh, ju- wait? Was. Wait, what was the thing? What was the reference to? Uh, he said, "Oh, um, he he mentioned a deal." You he will, said, you we finally will... got that commercial where we are. Basically. He was like, "You will freeze and be hot, like at the same time, like a McDLT." We got that recently. And yeah, I'm like, we got what the, the fuck? Recently. Clearly, it didn't make its way to Australia. What the fuck is a DLT? <laughs> what, what's a D? Uh, tweet, duck, tweet duck, us. duck, lettuce, and tomato. Uh, what about dog? Dick, dog. lettuce, and tomato. Dick, lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> we are so mature. I love which it. I have, which I have tried before. <laughs> dick, lettuce, tomato. Yeah, it varies. It varies from dick to dick. <laughs> no, get the lettuce. <laughs> make sure the lettuce, uh, tomato, and the dick don't touch each other. Getting tomato That's on your true. dick. That's a bad I idea. Soggy. Friends, don't put tomato <laughs> near your dick. Now, the reason I don't want to do this because in the wise words of Phil, never split what? the wang. But tomato is acidic. Never. Yeah. Never. Don't put you that said near never split the wang and penis? those are wise words to live don't by. I will say, <laughs> as a tip for our, uh, our like, tip? also, <laughs> don't put your tip in the tomato because it's acidic. Yeah. But if you okay. need to, like, cleanse your face and you're having, like, breakouts, tomato is really good because the acidity will... To rub on your face or to eat it? To rub on your face. All right. Eating it is good for testicular cancer. Really? I'm good, good in beating it, not it? <laughs> <laughs> rubbing it on your body. <laughs> ah. um, what so I do love about this episode is it does start to do what we've been craving, which is new team ups. First, like Amy and Nibbler. Yeah, have yeah. never. I been really together. liked the combo of Amy and Nibbler. Also, I don't think they do Nibbler much has we because we remember in the movies they never reversed. Um, the their memories from realizing that Nimbler can now talk. Yes, this is the first time that we've established it's, that they're it, just we've actually gone. They're chill that. with it. That's a good point. Yeah. This is weird because it's like, hey, we remember that Nibbler can talk, but also we're not kind of like addressing the I think Leela Fry thing. I think it you know what I mean. Of, like they yeah. go, oh, yeah. Nibbler's a thing, but also Leela and Fry. I do aren't? like the way it explains Nibbler, where it's like, yeah, 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 you know, like everyone knows he's just been he doing it to be, be a, cute. Yeah, he, he wants, wants to, to be cute. He wants to be like showered with affection. How he gets shit done too. Yeah. Um, and like Amy, for example, and it's also great to get a competent Amy. Yeah. Where she's like. She wants her fucking doctorate. And she, and oh, PhD, sorry. Did we know that her thing was applied physics or is this like. Yeah. The, like yeah. Did we know it was applied physics? I think physics? it's uh, in one of the earlier episodes. It's addressed that it she's doing sense, applied physics. It makes sense because what else would she be like doing with the professor? Sociology. Slipology. Not fashion. No, nah, she's fashion as fuck. I'm joking. Don't. <laughs> I oh, just Amy's amazing. The fashion here's, word. My, here's my question to ask you. This yes. is kind of leading into fashion corner here. So uh-huh, I've always uh-huh, wondered uh-huh. <laughs> what is Ellen? Ellen, <laughs> what is Amy's clothing made out of? Is it just like track pants and the same material okay. for the top? <laughs> Sorry, I, I inhaled so much that I <laughs> fucked up my voice. I think Amy's um, pink thing, track suit, uh, sweatsuit for you Americans out there. The, the matching set is meant to mirror the trend that we had in the 90s of matching sweatsuits, track tacks, um, and they were kind of like a velour. velour. Oh, I had one of those. I yeah. don't. That, I, mm. that would make sense for like the 90s. It's also got a crop top. Like that seems to be what her outfit is. Yeah. Like an homage to. But uh, like it doesn't. You can't tell velour, <laughs> obviously, in that, in like a 2D. Um, but I would say maybe, yeah, 
like velour is a good bet, but if not, just kind of normal cotton. Yeah, she is sweating on, in this out. She episode. really yeah, they this sweat epi- too. They get this to, episode they get is nice well. for us because we are in Australia in a heat, heat wave, and the scene where Bender opens up a window <laughs> <to> <laughs> and flames is that better? Flame. Is that yeah, better? <laughs> that's how it feels. Like honestly, when I get in my car, like right now, yeah, right now, I when think we been, opened that window, flames would pour. I out think I'm yeah. dying. Yeah. I, I really <laughs> dig this right now. This is pleasant for me. <laughs> really? What the hell? What is? Are you? You're sitting closest to the. I, the I, I'm think, sweating it out. I think this episode also I need to lose weight Chris <laughs> so do I plays with an interesting sci-fi concept it doesn't re- I'm doing a lot of the legwork for the episode to be honest the science doesn't but, make any sense okay shush, sure shush, 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 shush. but <laughs> please sorry <laughs> sorry I had a point and I will forget for it for listeners at home I had a shocked and offended face <laughs> I will she forget it if I Prince don't Egypt. keep going <laughs> Go. no but the cats are mind controlling these people yes Never because explained. Right, uh, but my thing is toxic plasmosis. A lot of people talk about it because it's a parasite. Well, that would have like, been funny. <laughs> right, but also really interesting in terms of like yeah, I, a I've sci-fi of that. element. It's, it's cool. So it's a parasite and, and cats have it and it is largely harm. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is peeling his shirt off. He's really struggling but he's too. he's also half caught in it. He's like Alan. a turtle half out of its shell. Alan, I don't mean to. Oh, <laughs> please continue. Right. No, can, to- we, can we like just let Chris do this and let's just watch him? It's not interesting for audio. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm right. so well, sorry. Well, if please everyone's going to be shirtless, we might as well. well I totally it. figured. Oh hey, I haven't okay. seen your new tattoo since it um, oh. finalized. Yeah. For all of you audio people at home. Don't worry, listeners. We'll Instagram this. We are all now shirtless. I'm so sorry, listeners. Um, I'm so sorry. Ellen, I'm also very sorry. Sorry, please continue your thought. Yeah, uh, toxic pl- plasmosis. That's All right, it's a parasite that cats have, and they pass it along to humans, and it's thought to be largely harmless. However, there is a thought that it could possibly uh, make because a, a it lot makes of other species, mice and rats, more docile. In right? other species, yeah, it does have a brain element to it, where it controls the behavior of the infected host, and people have theorize that uh, people with random, uh, like a lot of deaths, um, like no reason, uh, it may be because of the toxic plasmosis because it is making the host engage in very risky behavior that they ordinarily wouldn't have. Um, So, yeah, that that would be a really – I know there is a sci-fi book I have read which really plays on that element. It's called Peeps and it's like a vampire novel where where vampirism is just like a – kind of like an STD. Um, And this guy has to track down all of his – all the people he slept with because they're now infected crazy things. Vampires. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, And he's got like kind of a – he's a carrier so he he doesn't have like full-blown symptoms. Um, And then – Full-blown. It turns out – out that like it, uh, I think his his partner gets it from his cat like it's breathing the parasite into her um, anyway <laughs> so my point is that your cat's you're, mind control us you're not defending only... this episode with things that aren't in it I'm not defending it I'm just <laughs> jumping <laughs> off it the in I the way that the I reason think... I don't mind about that is that like this is also a nice reprieve from the last couple of episodes but it's been really kind of emotionally charged mm. this sure. is like a, a, this a is a very fluffy to, episode to fluffy oh, and... oh! And she did it fun. <laughs> And and like it's just I kind have, of like, I didn't have any fun. I'm you didn't sorry. have fun. Just jovial, and like it kind of does make me realize this is like a very much a John Weinstein episode. This yep. is his first episode, and I feel like a lot of his episodes moving forward are just going to be kind of light and fun. Yeah, and I really like. Yeah, okay. I really liked the the playing with Amy and Nibbler, but also the like playing off Nibbler and. Leela's relationship. Like I thought that was a pretty good look at it. Like, yeah, you yeah. know, she's like. She is constantly condescending him, but like th- she gets to a point where it's like, well, if you don't want to be treated like a pet, you have to kind of like fucking step up. Yeah. And then for a bit, he does, yeah. and he finds as it, as a partner now, equal, yeah, <laughs> and he really misses it. And I think that's nice to play with, and it also does kind of like, you know, take our minds off the fact that in the movies, like we knew Nibbler was like, a creep. Uh, uh, yeah, they uh, remembered Nibbler being able to talk, but everyone just kind of like hand waved it away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so enough people is, were asking about it. They're like, okay, let's, yeah, let's this is address a, it then. It's, it's, really, it's addressed in a really nice kind of like, oh yeah, like they way. Ne- they never address him coming back to the universe. 
Uh, no, he just he just Wasn't turns just up in Wild back. Green Yonder yeah. and he just is back. He's just it, back. It would have been nice for him to come back, as we said in the movies, and just be like, oh, you really fucked things up, didn't you? <laughs> well, I, then. <laughs> I also liked the variety of cats in this episode. How many, <laughs> really, how really many varieties really of cats? This doesn't quite lean into Fashion Corner, but all the cats <laughs> Cat match, all the cats match their, um, the people that they're trying to control. So what oh, is that's Hermes true. Hermes there's like is a, a brown cat. Yeah, j- Hermes a very is a very bland brown. No, it's like a very kind of plump, fluffy brown cat. And it kind of has dreads on its head or something like that. A little bit, like yeah. Little it's got of... kind of like a spiky, yeah, spiky that's right. head shape. Zoidberg has one of those skinless... Skinless? Per- I was going to say Persian, <laughs> but it's not Persian. It's, um, it's a hairless. A sphinx. sphinx. It's a, or, yeah. or, was it, or did it have hair and Zoidberg's just... Scrape I'm the hair patting off the claws. hair off of it. What is this? I'm patting it down to the bone. Yeah, yeah. I think Zoidberg. It does really remind me of like. I think Zoidberg wants to sell those. Bones I hate for cash watching animal like them. kids mm. around animals because it it just reminds me of uh, in the Simpsons when they bring um, Santa's little helper into school and Nelson's like, "You got to pat it so it feels it," and like he That's pulls right. his skin oh all God. the Eyes fucking are way popping back. out of the socket. Yeah, and... I don't dislike this episode. As much as Phil does, I think the joke to joke, moment to moment jokes are not as strong as they could be. I think, but yeah, I think the right. overall cons- like um, concept is pretty. Like I, I quite like it. So this is the part where I differ from everyone. Is I think the overall sure. concept is pretty. So weird. in uh, ascending order of grumpiness, yes. <laughs> I would yes. say maybe Sean, you're the least grumpy at the moment. I'm the least grumpy. Okay, yes, I love it's... this weather. I like the episode. Okay, I'm pretty happy. Sh- shut up. All right, then it's me. <laughs> What? <laughs> Who put you in charge? <laughs> then it's me because I said that. <laughs> Your microphone's off. I just muted you. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> to I was this proving game. that I was grumpier than Sean. <laughs> I wonder because if that's I thought gonna... the audience mm. wouldn't believe it. <laughs> no, no, they believe so it. So it goes Sean, me, Chris. Phil. I'm clearly and the most grumpy. Phil, and then Phil, you're the grumpiest. You're Papa Grumps now. Pop, pop Grumps. Pop Grumps. Too much unexplained. It sounds like a cereal. The silliness, the silliness oh. is just for the sake of it. Like it doesn't fit in uh, the silliness isn't uh, how do I explain this so in the f- in his other episode the Rebirth yeah the silliness is sort of like they're like how does the science work how do the stem cells work like I'm sure it'll be explained later like yeah 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 like it's they lampshade those moments the things that are silly are meant to be in this it's like we must have a celebration his cat's doing can can and it's just like uh? Yeah, I guess it that was, was meant I, to be the musical cats. Yeah, I think. I, no, oh, that's such a. I don't know. It just maybe if it, that the Briti- the joke of England saying, uh, "Oh, jolly good." This is what I mean by the I think chicken salmon is kind of an the okay chicken salmon. Oh, yeah, I like no, this is my counterpoint. This is sure, my counterpoint. Right. <laughs> this is my counterpoint. We all dive down. We're chicken all, salmon. We're You're all going on the chicken, chicken salmon train. You can hate the episode, but if you shit on chicken, chicken salmon. <laughs> That's kind of nice. I yeah. kind of like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but so the, the, for me, the gags are very hit and miss. They're more miss for me. And the silliness is kind of misplaced, doesn't serve the episode. And I think the overall plot, like a lot of the times Futurama has a sci-fi plot, which has some sort of interesting basis in reality. <laughs> That's kind of backhanded. Where you're like, it has some sort of interesting basis. Do you, <laughs> know, do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's factual, but... Cartoon eyes. I sure, kind sure, of totally. liked the the her thesis on. It's not a thesis, is it? What is it? No, it's a thesis. It would be a thesis. thesis yeah. On, yeah. on using like you know the Earth's rotational rotation. the whole thing energy. of gravity going, as an energy, and it restarts like it's an engine. Like, the, the, uh. but that, that's the sort of crazy science I like about Futurama. It's like, eh, look, it, it, it look the, the monuments. Flew and went into different places. Everything the stopped. Tower. And all the momentum. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. To be fair, We've Fry and Lilo and uh, the crew went back in time thanks to the power of like red. Blue, blue and red. <laughs> red. <We've>, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it's we've, a fair point. It's we've a fair talked point. about. We've also talked about gags we didn't like. All cats to their posts. <laughs> That's a winner. That's a winner. Winner chicken dinner. Yeah, if I've ever heard one. I like the good. little glib it's comment. All the cats. Welcome like... to academia. Yeah, that's yeah, I like yeah. that as well. The witty jokes are good. And all the, the, the wordplay jokes. And all the cats. The cultural scratching ones posts. are hit and miss. Like the ones yes. that require your knowledge about, you know, yeah. meme culture or or. Um, well, they age. The, that aged the really bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It's meow. like, do you guys remember in the pilot episode that one of their main celebrities is Dick Clark? Yeah, Dick Clark. 
go, hmm. That's right? a yeah, that's <laughs> proves <laughs> our point. Dick Clark was like a TV host announcer guy, but what he used to do was a thing called um, New Year's Rock and Eve. And he'd like the big countdown that I think is in New York where the ball goes oh, down yeah. from 10, 9, 8. He would always host that. He was massive in things like Friends and clearly sees one of Futurama. Doesn't quite age here. Um, everyone's dying. I slowly. have a it's question great. about Sorry, science, guys. Yes, please. Okay, of the hate. so the giant pole that is going to spin the world round. Yeah. Okay. It With is, com- it, it, it is going it. straight into the it's Earth's a core, super correct? Conducting wire. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But yeah, the giant, the, the the pole that allows that whole thing is wood. It would not catch on fire. It's probably <laughs> covered. <laughs> These are questions it's, I it's have. Sci-fi wood. It's mega wood. Sci-fi wood. Uh, got I'm, it. Got I'm gonna it. Got say, it. I'm going to say it's covered in cobalt. Nice. Ooh. Does that not catch on fire? That, that'll, isn't, that'll isn't a cover cobalt, that. <laughs> I think. Isn't a cobalt a D&D creature? Cobalt is. Thank you. Cobalt, cobalt. is a metal. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we learn. We've broken Phil. <laughs> this is where we learn is that Sean is a geek and not a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that your? Is that is that the distinction? Geeks are smart. Geeks are no, no, no Geeks no, no. are not smart. Geeks are not smart. They just collect pop culture and yeah. like you know. They have encyclopedic knowledge. Yeah, oh, that's I say stuff. nerds are people who are actually you know. That is not up for debate. I'm not an intelligent boy. <laughs> <laughs> like um, I don't know why it's taken you guys two you years. Why did you get well? offended then when I said like this episode's good for fifteen year olds? Well, because a is <laughs> different. Also, uh, you, I, you, I, I had pardon. a lot you're of chuck- right. I chuckled a lot, and you're the youngest this. of our team. And yeah, I'm still not fifteen. Yeah, okay, there's a world's away from me in fifteen. Which right. way is that smoke world clothes spinning? anymore? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Never oh, smoke clothes. So what I think I do <laughs> is I will start with Phil because yeah. this is going to be the biggest kind of which way will he go? Yeah, uh, Phil. So we have that darn cats, which is going to be going up against the late Philip J. Fry. Which way does your world spin? Does it go clockwise towards? Uh, it's a lot of fanfare from for the old aunts. That <laughs> no dumb cat. Also, I see what he did there. Oh, the, the world spinning. spinning. Oh, we Which did way it. Just will you to spin your yarn? On the far superior episode we watched last week. How many notes do you have? Um, you got a lot of notes there, mate. This one, lots of notes. This week, not so much. Yeah, right. That's um, weird. I write less notes when I really oh, enjoy, enjoy it. Same. Yeah. What was Philip J. Fry about? The late <laughs> last week. Uh, apparently, so, it was a good episode. I'm so hot. It was them time travel. Stop talking about your sexy boy. In the year 2525. Oh, yeah. yeah Didn't yeah, we yeah, sing yeah. that wrong? Oh, it had to go yeah, around, no, I, to go around the whole that universe. That the <laughs> now, yeah. that's a fucking sci fi plot. That's a great episode. It was way better than this episode. So, w- which one do you pick? Late <laughs> Philip J. Fry. <laughs> the hot Philip J. Fry. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so. I, I will. I will go next. Sure. Wait. Um, shouldn't we do it in descending order of? No, no. Let, let Sh- Sean has a thing he wants to Sean, say. Sean has some kind of process. Yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah. He's thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. In his I'll go See how his turning. eyes are narrowing. What do we? What do we call it? The the three pronged. I called Sean. it Sean's Pan- triangle Pan- of process. needs. Which Sean's I quite triangle like. of needs. <laughs> Sean's triangle of future armor needs. <laughs> um, look, I think that. It doesn't have an emotional, uh, much of an emotional uh, arc to it. Like that's gone down. The sci-fi premise is very similar to the the uh, brains episode. It's a very similar episode to the day mm-hmm. the Earth stood stupid. It's a very similar premise. Just someone else saves the day. Um, yeah, you know, Fry and uh, Nibbler are the only two that know that the world is going to shit. Nibbler is the blah, continuing blah. factor. Nibbler is the continuing factor. Um, however. And, you know, I had a lot of fun. Like, I feel like the jokes are what... And just kind of the light, fluffy nature of this episode really kind of... I'm happy for that in lieu of um, the other two needs that I require to fulfill me <laughs> on a weekly basis for future armor. However, that being said, I will be going for that late Philip J. Fry. Everything's so sweaty and I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, did I sit any- in anything? It's me. It's I sat sweat. in me. Yeah. Uh, it's so, Ellen, Ellen, it's Kiff. Fuck. Uh, Ellen, what's, what's your opinion? Kiff is under you. What's your opinion? Do you right, like okay. So this episode, while I think it had a lot of gags that fell flat, the gags that I appreciated, I thought, were, were nice because they just kept the ball in the air. It was something light, but I felt at the same time it it did actually care about um, 
you know, let's let's look at Amy for an episode mm. and let's have her be a bit more competent and and you know have her worries and and like this I did is like her Amy st- being competent. Yeah, this right. is her story yeah. at the forefront. Like it's not just her being competent; it's also be- her being incompetent. Like her being like, oh god, I'm so worried about this thing that then she over drinks and then fucks up and then comes late. Like it, it, it's uh, it's nice to see her in the spotlight a little bit. And I think this is the first Amy centric episode that isn't based around a relationship with either Kiff or Fry. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first yeah. one that yeah. isn't a romantic Amy-centered episode. Yeah. I don't know. She looks at Nibbler a few times. I don't oh. know what's going on there. Oh. Um, but I and also do. Lie. I really like Nibbler in this episode as well. Like, uh, and and the fact that it's got cats everywhere, it's it's giving it a, a big excuse to just be cute, uh, something cute and fluffy. And I like cute and fluffy things, so this was fun. However, I don't think it lives up to the late Philip J. Fry, just in terms of like that. That has fun as well, but it also has a, a bit more, a lot more weight. Um, and the animation is gorgeous and breathtaking, and you know uh, everything so lovingly rendered that yeah, it's it's definitely a winner. But I had fun. So. I want to talk more about this episode, but I'm so hot, I'm gonna die. Um, the I actually think that there are Do like. Do you want us to open a window? Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> um, the general like premise of it, like, or the the major themes it's dealing with, like cute animal and Amy. That's fun. Her academic life. That's fucking amazing. Um, more of that, please. Uh, like uh, Dr. Amy Wong now. Dr. Amy Wong. That's rad. Like, um, I would have liked maybe if it was like spent more time at the university and then more time with like the hyper cuteness. They felt like there were weird tangents that didn't have any kind of like bearing on the plot like i'm usually pretty good when it comes to like looking at plot structures and going like okay where is it inconcise and i think like the flashback about egypt took up a lot um and maybe the academic stuff took up a lot i don't know there's just like bits in this episode where i'm like where did the time go Mm. the plot seems like really fast and quick and done over and i don't know um i actually don't mind this episode i think it's pretty pretty fun and while there are gags that miss i think that's because it's trying to strike a, a younger tone. I don't know what that means exactly. I'm really hot. I'm dying. Do I'm sweating. Know, yeah. Can sweat, I propose sweaty, right? a, a different episode? Yeah. Uh, I really liked the idea of, I mean, I've said this and, and it would fit really well into a sci-fi theme with the toxic plasmosis because we know that as a thing, as an established thing, that cats have this parasite that could control the host's brain. Mm. Also, it would link into a pop culture thing. It's not so much pop culture, but uh, another fact that a cat has a doctorate somewhere because a guy wrote his thesis and then realised he used we all throughout like his writing and then couldn't be bothered to like <laughs> go back and rework it. So he used his cat as its co-author and that cat now has a doctorate. What's and a I would like cat? the plot to be about cats secretly controlling the academic world and making it harder for people to get there. I, I figured out why I think the plot needs to rework. I just, uh, Amy needs to be the protagonist, not share it with another character. Like that, that to sure. me is like the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, late Philip J. Fry is a better episode, in my opinion. Yep. Okay, well, that's a clean sweep for, for the late Philip J. Fry. Uh, we do have a voice that we can get to. Oh, the cat. You cat, you can either pick yeah. the, the cat <laughs> version of the cat or the, the, the human yeah. English speaking oh. cat version. Or the, of the speak, cat. And the some... speak and spell. There was a point and spell. Point and spell. Speak and spell. Speak and spell. Oh. Speck and spiel. Speck and spiel. <laughs> the horse says. Doctor and what was it? Doctor and denied. denied. Doctor and denied. Yeah. Um, How's the job market? <laughs> Rough. That's a fucking great guy. Academ- that's, no, it's that's not. That's the great they're guy. So good. I love it. <laughs> Academia love it. And, and the acting <laughs> market. They're so similar. Oh my god. Um, I, rough. I just rough, Phil. before we oh, before we no. start doing like mm-hmm. purrs and whatever. Nibbler has a really cute, cute little little purr. Just, no, like no, at the no, end. No, 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 he has no. like a. Very cute. Hopefully our microphones will pick that up. So what are our what are our voices? Uh, He's got kind of an English accent, yeah. doesn't he? It's, it's, it a, it's, a, it's he a bit, it's a bit has... of a uh, welcome to uh, academia, darling. Is it because he has fangs that get in the way? Yeah. Yeah. I would like my meow mix, please. Meow mix, meow mix. They worship us. We want chicken. We want liver. 
Meow mix, meow mix. Please deliver. I'll do my voice. Smelly cat. Smelly cat. (laughs) What (laughs) are they feeding you? The Chris goes, he's really hot. (laughs) (laughs) It's really hot, guys. You're having a rough time. I deal with heat so badly. There it goes. Oh my god. (laughs) And I live in Australia of all places. Why don't I live in Greenland? Which is full of ice, not like Iceland. (laughs) Don't want to go to Iceland, it's full of green. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Fucking environmentalists. (laughs) So guys, a few things you can take from this episode. (laughs) Number one. uh, Never visit Australia in January. Don't leave if you here live here. (laughs) If you hear some weird noises all throughout this episode, we are using various instruments. To, well, they're using various instruments to fan themselves. I am loving this sauna. We're it's so hot. Fuck off, Sean. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to why be positive. Why are you a sadist? Like, why do you enjoy our suffering? I am... We're not really recording this, just FYI. <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> no, I haven't been recording for two years. It's just something I like getting you guys to come here to do with me. How does it end up on YouTube? I don't understand. Uh, private channel. Okay. <laughs> Only you guys can see it. No! I write I write all the comments. All our all fans are actually sure. All the views. Oh that would be... God. We've been that, catfished. That would be fucked. Uh, if you actually do... So all the money that you've fucked. put into the podcast, I've taken and bought DVDs for myself. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. There's no such place as Spreaker, is there? No. You I made mean, that website. Yeah, like Spreaker. Come on. It's like, it's just like I took the word speaker and put another letter in it. You fell, <laughs> you fell for that shit. <laughs> internet. Everybody knows Very when you make an internet thing, you remove a letter. Oh. Like Tumblr. Tumblr. How do you guys Tinder. not figure it out? Facebook. Tinder has an E. <laughs> Tinder. Has an E in it. It's not Tinder. Tumblr. No. Tumblr, doesn't Tumblr, have an e. Is. Tumblr is, yeah. So, Sean, just a note. Um, sent, an another, e. oh. sent another three Twitter uh, mentions to the Baby Beard account, so they think it's someone else. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Sean's talking about our many, many admirers and suitors. Our many fans. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. It's so hot. <laughs> uh, so, um, Sean, if you would like to email into Baby Beard Media, <laughs> you can do so at babybeardmedia at gmail.com. But then you knew that already, didn't you? Mm, classic. Uh, there's other social media as well. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Yes. Those are all things. They're all at Baby Beard Media. Please, yeah. please tell us why we're wrong. Uh, are you pointing at me to yeah. do something? Yep, yep, yep. What is it? Uh, talk give about, us five stars. Give us five stars. Bitch! Yeah, um, we're hot. We're sexy. Give us five stars. We're very hot and, I mean, mostly hot. We're very hot. Give us five stars because we have suffered and literally put our blood, sweat, and tears into this podcast. And we just want to talk, guys. We just want to talk. Just, just talk to us. Just Don't forget to subscribe to us on whatever po- pod catcher uh, app you're using. Yep. So, uh, you know, iTunes or whatever. Give us five stars on that. If you're giving us a rating, go into your iTunes account. Mm-hmm. Go onto your computer. I know it takes like... Two minutes tops, but go into you. No, it's do hot. a thing. It's hot. It's hard. Yeah. I we know. We know. We know. We get it. Yeah. We know. But and think about us if, all without our shirts on. If we could sit down for an hour <laughs> <laughs> every week for two years, and also probably like take two minutes to write. The, the way Please. that it got really aggressive. Sorry, something <laughs> that we don't talk about enough. That is one of the most helpful ways because it's the way I find my podcast. Telling Tell people? someone about. Yeah, us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Word of mouth. Share yeah. my friends. And if you don't have friends, scream it from the make street. Make some. Make some friends out of your DNA. Clone yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them about our Tell podcast. Them about the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know. They're hey not me, copies. They're clones. Have you heard this? <laughs> they need to learn oh, things. As a note, I thought I just this requires a shout out. Uh, by the way, is yeah. that uh, we've we gone had, completely mad? We had some. We had someone on Twitter that responded to us, and I think it's worth repeating. It's from last week. And it's from B. And B says... Oh, God. There's B. a B? No, <laughs> it's a person, ah! Ellen. B said, I've never identified with the Baby Beard Media folks more than when I heard the you would hate fuck your clone bit. Would you hate you fuck your clone? Let us know on Twitter. B, you're, you're doing God's work out there. All right, guys. We, it's we hopefully really going to be not 39 degrees next week when we tackle a clockwork origin. Oh. 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 That's oh. a movie out of oh. book. Oh. That oh. was one of my oh. uh, favorite books growing up, but I think it's Same. one of it's a warning sign now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like if I met if like say you I was met going, someone else you said like that say was my if I was book. going out on a date and they were like oh Clockwork Orange is my favorite book I might be I think if it's back your away. favorite <laughs> I think if it's your favorite book now like Lord of the Rings like if it's your favorite book now it's like it's a pu- it's, it's, it's a it's a development book, book right yeah. it's like someone saying oh I I love Lord of the Flies when they're like 
40 years old. Yeah, you're like, mm, uh, okay. Did you hear they were remaking Lord of the Flies? But it's all going to be women. Let, what's the, but let, also... Let's put this in the post show. I've been Sean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been oh. Ellen. <laughs> I've been hot, stinky Chris. I've been slick with sweat. Phil. Don't say Gross. that. Gross. Don't say Big that. Big Willie style. Goodbye. Bye. We love you. Moist. A moist goodbye from Baby Oh, Beard. stop. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't, like, do Lord of the Flies with women, but don't get two men to write it. How would they know? How would they know? They talk to a woman. They One. have wives. They were or or they're woman. gay and therefore are more qualified to speak about women. <laughs> speak toxic of, femininity needs to be addressed now by the queer male community. Oh. Women are too women, nice to women each women other. Women have been on top for long enough. Can, can I? That's because you're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stop Ayo, being such. Ayo. Ayo. I like nice. that, that joke. Was a good that was joke. pretty good. No, that Thanks was a good really. joke. That was nice. Um, <laughs> Oh, I really ruffled some feathers. It was quite pleasant. Yeah, my mum actually. Oh, people got angry for not liking Napoleon yeah. Dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. there's like seven or like seven comments or something. Yeah. Being like, he's the worst. Yeah, I my, feel like my mum. My mum took me aside and was like, that Sean. That I think. Mm. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> he swears a lot. I I'm like, like don't listen to the podcast, mum. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, did you say I swear like a lot? No, she Dynamite. said you like, swear a lot. Like, she said I swear it's a lot. It's a pretty quirky niche movie. Hey, my mum. Hey, Chris. Fuck your mum. I love my mum. Well, I was said. reading an investor's got lots book, of clothes, and but. he said that's the most important thing you could get yourself. Yeah, socks are great. I bought socks for me today. Socks and underwear socks are like are the, the best thing important. to invest in. I got coffee socks, and Not I got hot dog socks. Or oh, ma- mm, yeah. Sock- maybe that's what that was. Or something. Socks also stop you getting trench socks. foot. <laughs> Fuck, I've been investing in socks. socks. Oh. Wait, the sock market. Socks and socks and bonds. The, the, the sock market crashed. <laughs> I would love a stock market, a but sock like market with crash. just all sock puppets going like, sell, sell, <laughs> buy, buy, buy. <laughs> and like some googly eyes going crazy, oh, the like, oh, go to the buy. stock market, and they all get really corrupt and like insider trading. And jokes. Then, a, then a car comes this into the market and crypto. crashes <laughs> into everyone. I want chicken. I want liver. Meow mix. Meow mix. Please deliver. Deliver it to me.